Well, hello there, it's Wayne Robson here. Right, if you've um, got something like a Theta S, um, or you're taking any sort of HDRI 360 lat long probe um, for lighting, uh, regardless of the application and render engine, sometimes you need a bit of editing. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Here's the one I've just quickly done in a few minutes. So if I view this, the original version of this had a horrible me in the middle. Now this is okay, because I thought I wasn't in, in view you know, at the time, unfortunately I was, and I was out with the kids. So what I had to do is basically get rid of myself. Now this one's an even, even in, in, more interesting one and more common. It has the tripod in the bottom, right? So we have to paint that out. Now let me show you how to do it. It's dead simple. We're going to do three here, okay? So this is an underground World War II bunker, as you can see. It has a horrible tripod, uh, sort of shadow and part of it. What we're going to do is take a spherical transform. Now you'll notice, oh, we want to change it that, that long, but it's not long enough, right? It should be twice the width of the height. The easiest way to do that is if we look at the original image on this, it's 5,376 by 2,688. So all we do there is we go right at the bottom, root output format, oh look, there's a the bottom. Boom, lovely, right? Now you can see there, that's what we have. And um, we next need to add um, a paint node, all right? And then we're going to copy this spherical transform and put it down here, all right? And this is our basic setup. Now the top one, what we're going to do is we're going to put this up like this sort of thing. Right? I'll just put it so I can see. I've got a nice reflection on my monitor at the moment, so that if I seem to be fading in and out of the microphone, it's because I have to keep going to one side. Now we go to the root of paint node. You see this one with two circles? That is the clone two, exactly the same as Photoshop. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the control key or the command key if you're on the Mac and drag from there to where we want to be, all right? Now we could, under this stroke, change the brush size and stuff like that, or we can just hold down the shift key, like that, all right? And then, and I'm using the mouse here, I want to do it very, very roughly, and just go da 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 just paint out all the shadows and everything else, make sure it's all fine and dandy, all right? Done. But when you're saying it's all distorted and stuff, well, yes it is. At the moment we have 70 on there. On here, all we need to do is do a minus 70. Boom, it's gone, right? That one was easy. Now this one, even easier, all right? So I'm gonna take it like that, take it from mirror bolt to lat long, root format to our main root format. Now on this one, there's me in there, right? So what I'm gonna have to do um, is hit P again, so I've root or pinned. And I've got to paint myself out. Now I want to use somewhere that's like up here, right? So I'm going to hold down this time, I'm going to hold down control and shift, right? right. Back, sorry, I'm hitting the wrong thing. Right, so we go control key with this on there, right? Control, and we're going to do that. Shift key and the left mouse button, and then just go da 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 da, and see if we can get something that's halfway decent. Um, it doesn't have to be too tidy at the moment. I might have to do a little bit of clean up. You know, I could, if you want to reset the start point, shift and control, all right? So I can do it like that and then just try and do something a little bit. Now we have that there like that. And we could, Dick around with this from now to Doomsday, right? But basically we've got an easy clone on there. If I had time, I'd probably have used something over here. In fact, let's try that. See if I can do it from here to here. See if it makes a better job. Because I can't really see the monitor due to reflection at the moment. So it's quite difficult to see if I'm picking the right place on this and again apologies for the sound of maybe being a bit wobbly but yeah as you can see there perfectly we didn't really need to mess around with spherical transform okay there's a bit of jump in the video there the reason for that is i realized that this one here is um when i take and this in fact i'll tell you what i do i'll put a quick spherical transform because this is a cautionary trail tail to us all okay um 
finest potatoes with the right what's its name and then explain to you what's going on right now if you see on here all right I did a rather rookie mistake when I was taking this photograph. Now, while we can, we can paint out all this stuff, it's a bit of a pain on the backside, but you can do it. This one here lines up down here perfectly with that edge. So we can't really do much. Um, we can hide it and patch it and stuff, but it's too long for a video, basically. So that's the reason why that one. So we're going to get rid of that. That's junk. And I'm going to use this one instead, this HDR, which is rather boring to look at, but does have another big tripod bit. So, spherical transform into here. You get, remember, that long map, set your format, okay? Now, on this one, we're going to have a little look and see how far we can get it. Oh, there you go, that's not too bad, that's fairly easy to work with. So, we hit P for Roto Paint. Take this here, and then we're going to go into here, zoom in a wee bit. Now, I'm going to hold down shift to make the brush slightly bigger. Hold down control, drag from there to there, right? So I'm going to paint this out, and hopefully it turns out rather nice. It should do, to be honest. Um, it's a fairly straightforward one. That'll have a bit of a problem with the edge. The thing with Roto Paint is every time you make a new stroke, um, it will add it to the list, so sometimes it's a bit easier to uh, do it in one stroke if you can. And it makes things a lot faster. So there we go. Now I don't like this Y here, alright? It's an upside down Y, I'm not sure, well I'm not sure why it's there. Um, so I'm just going to paint that very carefully out. See if there's anything else in the scene that uh, is out of place. Uh, I don't think there really is. Oh, I'm over there. So we might have to do another roller paint on this. Okay, so easiest way again is just copy that over, connect it to your roto paint, all right, make sure it's active, and then put a minus on that, all right? Boom, there you go. We're back to normal, we've got that rid of. Now I do, I'm over here, all right? Now there's me taking the, the thing on my phone, which to be interesting, to be quite honest, it was a bit of a pain on the backside uh, because this is. Oh, this is this is the surface of the ground up here, right? And this is down, you go downhill, you know, down a little path. But this, there was no way of getting a connection to the theatre. So I had to stand in the doorway, I couldn't hide anywhere. So we've got that bit done, it's time for another one. So I'm going to put yet another spherical transform on. Hopefully you can see that um, why I'm... Uh, doing multiple passes, it's, it's easier to do in, in two passes than one, right? So here we are here, again, we've got to set the same stuff as before, right? Now this time, um, I might want to change the Y a bit, just put it somewhere in the center where I can get a bit better. Um... All right, so there we go, minus 36. Now in this case, we hit P again, and we have our root all pinned. We're going to go in here and we're going to zoom the hell in as much as we can. Now I'm going to see what I can clone out and what I can't. So I'm going to put it down here, hold down control, and then go like that. So that's my offset, all right? So I'm going to try and get as much of this done as I can. See if I can. We might have a few little issues, but you know, we'll have to deal with the bloody things basically. It's what happens, you know, every day in production and you have work rounds on top of work rounds on top of work rounds. So we've got that one there. We might need to reset it again by holding shift and control just to add some random stuff here so it doesn't look like it's tailing all over the damn place. All right. In fact, we could probably use a bit of this wall to just add that in like that. Now, looking at this, um, it's going to be fairly obvious what I'm doing. Um, if, you know, in any reflections, if I'm not careful. So I'm trying my best to make this sort of really not obvious, if that makes any sense. So I've got to try and do that, and then I'm going to do another one like this, and then put a bit in there and a bit in. Mm, that's not right. There, there, just get rid of some of this tiling rubbish up here. Maybe put that there and do another bit over here so it looks a bit more random. 
now over here you could go from there to there and I want to try and just do that right we've got two nasty lines here so I'll put one here and go boom no we don't have two nasty lines this blob here I don't like so boom there we go add a bit more on the top of here so it looks a bit more random right so we have that there everything's painted out it's good to go so all we do again is copy that stick it at the bottom view that and whereas it's minus on this one we make it plus 36 there we go so if we look at this now in here you can't see me in the doorway you probably want to do a bit of a better job than that but we definitely can't see the tripod and we're good to go so that's how you can do stuff with a hdr this one's a bit of a pain in the backside but not as bad as i've seen um you can sometimes have lots of these to do uh, so that's one way of doing it and i think it's it's probably useful for most of you but again don't make a rookie mistake like i made with the guild village one right that's a rookie mistake i should have known better than that always watch where your shadows are and remember if you've got to paint this out you don't want to be spending four hours on it obviously all you do after this is you have a write node and export it all right so if i quickly on my other monitor just get a location and i need that there you have to excuse me because it's um there's things that I'm not supposed to show got to make sure it doesn't open the wrong folder right so there's all the hdrs there right so that one there um was barnet castle which is down here somewhere i know it is da, da, da. Well, a castle exterior, and I didn't just call it post, right? Now, I don't obviously don't want to be as bloody as it file. I want to be an EXR. And then, put it as a 32-bit float, render it out, one frame, boom, done. Simple as that. And that's how you do it. And if I go back into here, I can bring it back in. So there we go. And there's there's the one we have and there's our original so there you go awesome hope that was useful for you all